SWMRT presents tank composting civil structure setup. In this video, we demonstrate tank method of aerobic composting. Tank composting method looks clean and can be economical if we follow the process. If the composting yard is located in a residential or commercial area, well-maintained tank composting is suitable. Sample layout drawing for the shed. We need a covered area or shed with cross ventilation as this is aerobic composting. Strong concrete floor is a must to avoid entry of rat and mouse and a roof to avoid rain. Side walls should be 1 foot cement and the rest 9 feet mesh wall which allows air circulation and avoids entry of rodents. Each tank can be 4 to 5 feet width by a maximum 3 feet high and length can be 10 feet or even more depending on the shed length. A good water connection, electricity connection is a must. Electricity is for a chopper and a shredder machine. The concrete tank has slope so that the excess leachate will go out to a canal. Always include 8 to 10 large vermicomposting tanks to feed semi-composted material to earthworms. Feed semi-compost to earthworms to create vermicompost. Vermicompost will yield better value than aerobic compost. Let us see the composting process. It is important to plan the infrastructure to allow easy movement of smaller tipper vehicle, JCB or Robocat. The secret to success is well segregated kitchen waste. Secondary segregation is tedious and time consuming. To save on the operational cost, collect kitchen waste along with as much dry leaves and garden cuttings. Collect all the market waste along with household kitchen waste. An efficient chopper with good electricity connection at the entrance helps in chopping a mixture of kitchen waste and dry leaves. Another type of chopper uses high speed blade. Faster speed can help complete the work in short duration. There can be two types of chopper, medium speed rotating jaw tie or high speed blade with a conveyor belt attached. Chopper mixes dry leaves and kitchen waste very well and also results in fluffy, well aerated compost pile that breathes well. A conveyor belt improves speed of work. It helps evenly distribute the load. A good set of tools and plastic tubs help manage this activity. Rakes, tubs, jute sacks to cover the heaps. Create a heap of chopped kitchen waste and dry leaves inside the tank. Prepare cow dung slurry or waste decomposter liquid or microbes powder or microbial cocopeat. Sprinkle diluted native cow dung slurry. It has good microbes that will accelerate composting. You can also use microbes powder or coca peat. Do not fill the tank from edge to edge, but create a heap inside the tank. Turn the heap to maintain moisture and aerate the compost pile. Cover it with jute sacks and keep it moist. Having three to four workers to work in parallel to process 3000 kgs of kitchen waste efficiently and in about 4 to 6 hours. Sprinkle water if required to keep the compost pile moist, not wet, not dry. 
create a heap of crushed material in the tank 4 feet in width by 3 feet high and length can be 10 feet or more. A trolley will help move the shredded material to create a heap of 4 feet width by 3 feet height by 15 feet length. Here, you can see moist, full, mature black gold that smells like soil. When the particle size is smaller, microbes will have more area to work on and composting will be faster. After 45 days, shift the material into vermi composting tank for earthworms or into a mesh composter to fully mature. Allow high heat thermophilic stage to complete and low temperature mesophilic stage to set in. The heaps have to be turned twice a week to aerate and maintain moisture. It takes 45 days for each heap to become semi-compost. Another 45 days to become fully mature compost. Another 45 days later, harvest mature or vermicompost or beautiful black gold. Finally, this compost should reach farmers' agricultural field to grow safe food. Farmers have option to take semi-composted material at lower price and mature it further at their farm and then use. Farmers can buy fully mature compost or vermicompost in their own vehicle using their own sacks to reduce cost. In either case, we suggest farmers to create a heap of the compost purchased and further cure it for a month and then use it. Farmers can also enrich this compost with cow dung or horse dung manure, biofertilizers and oil seed cake powders. By feeding compost to soil, we complete an important circle. What came from soil goes back to soil as that is where it belongs. Fully mature compost helps build healthy soil which can retain moisture. It can help us grow safe food. We thank Municipal Corporation of Siddipet for their support and vision in setting up this wonderful program. Thank you for watching the video. For more details, email us at info at the rate swmrt.com.